YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I got a crazy video. I made a list of uh, my top five VSTs and top five plugins to use in 2023. So these are based off, uh, off of my opinion, like how I use the VSTs and what I think of the VSTs. So take it with the, with the pinch of salt. So let's get right into it. Right, before we get into the video, I finally dropped my rookie season drum kit. I've been using it in, in, in almost all of my videos uh, for the last like couple weeks. So I finally dropped the kit. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little discount code. Use like Turkey20 for 20% off uh, if you see this video. So first link in the description, go get that kit. All right, so I got five VSTs and five plugins. I'm gonna start out with the VSTs. I'm not gonna get too in depth with uh, with every VSC and plugin because the video is gonna be one hour then. But if you wanna know more about the VSC, just Google it. All right, so my number five spot, we got Electra X. It's it's a very classic plugin. I'm sure everyone who's tried making it be in their life knows about Electra X. Uh, but in my opinion, it's still one of the best VSTs to use in like 2023. So Electra X, in my opinion, is one of the best VSTs for like the old South Side feel, the Edward Mafia feel. Um, very good VSC for aggressive melodies, uh, very electric sounding melodies. That's what it names Electra X, of course. One of the best things about Electra X is, uh, is the banks, of course. You got uh, some stock presets like pads and keys and stuff, uh, but it's really not that much. So the banks are really, really a, a must have when it comes to uh, Electra X. Uh, so Electra X is 150. Um, it's pretty affordable, but I suggest buying Electra X. We already got a few VSTs uh, on deck. So next up on the number four spot, I got Arcade. Uh, the reason why it's on number four and not uh, a little higher on the list is because it's subscription based. And for a lot of people, I know that's a, that's a turn off. Uh, you got to pay like 10 a month to, to be able to own this VST. And I get that that's, uh, that's a lie in the long run. Let's say you own the VST for like three years, you pay a lot. Um, Arcade actually hooked me up with a free year. Hey, thank you, Arcade. Some of the good parts about Arcade is they have a lot to offer. Like whatever genre or whatever type beat you make, Arcade got something for you. You got vocal chops, flute runs, ads, pianos, everything. Also, Arcade gets updated. So there are new banks and new lines releasing every every month, uh, something like that. So that's a pretty cool part too. Uh, but if y'all see me looking down, I actually wrote some shit down. So y'all better go like the video, man. Uh, so in the number three spot, we got Analog Lab 5. In my opinion, the best VSC for like vintage or analog uh, sounding presets. I actually got Analog Lab 5 with my uh, MIDI keyboard. So I bought a MIDI keyboard for like 150 and I got Analog Lab with it. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal. I I'm not sure if they still do that deal, but they got me right. So Analog Lab is 200. It's, uh, it's pretty expensive, but the things you get, as you can see, I got 7,000 presets in this. It's, it's, it's very much worth it. The only downside for me, and that's why it's on number uh, number three on this list, is um, the stock presets are not really usable, like most of them. Uh, so you really got to get the banks for um, for Analog Lab, of course, because people actually design these sounds to be usable, if that makes sense. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of stuff ain't, ain't really that use, usable, but definitely get the banks where you get Analog Lab 5 because then it's a it's a great VST to use. Also, I believe Splice is like a rent to own thing with uh, with Analog Lab uh, where you pay like a certain amount of money each month and you finally like after paying that certain amount each month, you you own the VST after like a year and a half type shit. So, All right, so on the number two spot, I had to put expand on the list, man. Y'all see me use this in almost every video. And in my opinion, it's one of the best VSTs for, for the price. I believe expand is like 80 to, to 10. I bought it on 15 bucks. So there's sales going around all year for expand. So you'll definitely be able to get it for under 20. But for the stuff you get, man, look at all these categories, pads, strings, vocals, mallets, everything. But like, if you get it for 20, definitely worth it. And also that's why it's on the number two spot because it's it's really cheap for all the VSTs on this list. So but let's say you have like 40 laying around for Christmas. Don't buy Expand, but buy my drum kit first. You get me? Like buy my drum kit first and then buy Expand. Also another thing about Expand, you don't really have banks, but the user presets are really good. Like if I just click a random pad, that's hard. So Expand got a lot of stuff for a really cheap price. So yeah, Expand, really great plugin. It's like the cheap Omnisphere for people who are not like, trying to spend four or five hundred for Omnisphere, definitely get Expand. One thing about Expand though is you got to know how to use it. Like a lot of presets are very raw sounding, like they sound very like dry. So you'll definitely want to put some some uh, reverb or like render it out and reverse it. You definitely want to put some effects on, on the presets of Expand. But when you know how to use it, you can almost use it in every beat. Uh, so for my favorite VST to use in 2023, bruh. Y'all know I had to pull out the Keyscape, man. Like. Escape, in my opinion, like pianos, 
Pianos just, you can't, you can't go wrong with pianos, you feel me? The reason why I be using it so much is like, Keyscape got a lot more than just a grand piano, right? Like it got all sorts of uh, different twists on like the grand piano. You got the rock, cinematic, softest, like it's all the same piano, but it's like twisted a bit. Like the one sounds soft, the other one sounds aggressive. So that's one thing I really like. And another thing about Keyscape is you got bells, you got like Celeste, you got clavinets, electric pianos. And like on every preset, let's say the LA, the LA Custom Roads, you got like, what 15 to 20 other presets a phaser lush i just listen to that bro also it works really well if you have atmosphere too because i believe they combine the presets of like both vsts uh, and you can use keyscape in omnisphere you have so many more presets that way uh, but the one thing about keyscape is it's pretty expensive man it's like 300 but trust me when I say this, like, if you buy it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, it's definitely worth every single dollar you spent on Keyscape, man. So, yeah, that's why it's number one for me. And I don't think it will change anytime soon, man. I've been using Keyscape for, like, a year now. One of the best VSTs I've ever used. So, get into the plugins now. All right, so, on the number five spot, you know, I had to bring out Portal. I, I don't know who who's not heard of Portal in the last, like, year in 2022, man. Uh, One thing about Portal is... It's weird, man. That's why it's on my number five spot. It's not really reliable like that. So it got a lot of weird shit going on. Uh, so with Portal, the banks are pretty cool. Uh, the stock presets, but you really want to get the banks for this, man. Like the banks really going to take it from a three to like an eight, in my opinion. All right, so let's say I use Portal on uh, just a basic triad chord on Keyscape. It will sound like this if I just pick a random preset. Like, it's weird, man. So that's why I suggest uh, y'all use Portal with, like, automation clips and render your melodies out so it's not, like, weird. It's, like, uh, consistently weird, if that makes sense. But Portal is uh, 150 to 100. Uh, I've seen it on sale a couple times. I believe it's on sale right now. So if you want to get Portal, now's a good time to, to actually get it. Uh, I believe Splice does, like, the, the rent-to-own uh, thing with Portal 2 where you pay a certain amount of money each month and you finally, like, after a year, you own it. Uh, so yeah, if you don't have the, the 100 to spend right away, definitely get the Splice subscription. Right, so in the number four spot, we got Finish a Micro, man. Y'all see me use this a lot, and it's free. So that's why it's on the number four, and that's why it's on this list. It's actually free. The only free plugin that's on this list. So let's say you have a very dry signal. Let's open up Expand. Uh, this Finish a Micro can like take your melody from, let's say, a 5 to a, a 6.5, definitely. Right, so let's say I got this pair right here. And that sounds boring, right? If you put this on to finish a micro and you turn this knob up. I mean, it does wonders. Like, it's a very cool plugin to like step up your melodies a bit. If, if like a signal is sounding really dry or like boring, put this on it will it will change the change the way the melody sounds. Right, so for number three, I had to bring out RC20, man. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about RC20, but in my opinion, it's still one of the best effects plugins, if not the best effects plugin. Uh, so if you want to make your melody sound old or like vintage or like vinyl this is definitely the plugin to to buy like there's really nothing out there similar to uh to rc20 so yeah it got a few cool presets i only been using the the vinyl uh, presets for real but it got some other presets for be honest i never used them so i don't know i only been using the the vinyl presets yeah the reason why this is on number three like it's one of the best sounding uh sounding effects plugins and it's very reliable too plus all these knobs is so it's like easy to use you got the wobble the noise you can even change the noise and stuff uh it got an eq too change the width the gain like it's an amazing plugin uh so you can get rc24 under a uh, hundred dollars um it's not too expensive but i get that it might be expensive for some people so uh, I believe Splice does the, the rent to own with this, uh, with RC22. I believe I actually did the, the rent to own. It's like five a month for like a year plus, but then you get the, the plugin when you uh, finish the payments. Um, yeah, RC20 definitely, uh, definitely top three for me. Uh, so number two, I had to bring out Effectories too, man. Like it's, it's a, I believe it's pretty old, but it's still one of the best uh, VSTs or plugins to use uh, for me at least. I mean, you can use this on melodies, uh, 808s, hi-hats, everything. So you got all these options, all these effects right here, and every effect you can change it right here. You got all the, the mix, the attack, distortion, or the crush, uh, reverse, all that stuff. So you can change every individual uh, effect if that makes sense and this user interface is also very unique you can like draw draw stuff in right here you can combine stuff uh, i believe yeah they have some presets too but you really got to get creative with it like there's no no rule or not like no 
sound where you got to use this effect on it. Like, you can use it on, on almost everything. You can use it to do the reverse hi-hats and stuff. Uh, add distortion, add final stops, all that stuff. So, that's why it's, why it's on number two for me. So, Effectrix is uh, 120. It's, it's quite a bit, but like I said, you can basically use this on anything you want. Like, you can use it melodies, anything. So, definitely worth it. But yeah, the reason why this is not number one is because there's one plugin that's way better than, than anything on this list. And that's Shaperbox, man. I got Shaperbox 2. I believe Shaperbox 3 is out. Um, it recently dropped, I think. But for me, Shaperbox is, is my favorite, my favorite effects plugin. Like, it's, it's so unique. You have, like, this automation thing right here uh, that works the same with every effect. You can add, like, stutters, reverse uh, effects, final stops. Uh, you have the filters. You have the width. You can change the panning. And I believe I use this in, in almost every single one of my videos to, to, like, pan stuff out. If you have, like, a pad, you can basically just pan it from left to right and, like, automate it right here. Uh, so let's say you want to pan it only to the left. So you just drag this down. Really got to get used to it, though. That's the only thing, um, only downside of this plugin. You, like, you got to get used to the, the way this works. But I'm saying, if you understand how it works, man, it's... it's for me, the best, the best effects plugin. Uh, I believe you got packs too. Yeah, right here. You get like hundreds of presets made by people. So yeah, 20 pages full. So yeah, Shaper Box is 90 bucks. I believe it's the cheapest on this list. It's cheaper than Portal, RC20, uh, and Effectrix. So uh, 90 bucks for what it has to offer. Like you got a lot to offer. It's definitely worth it for me. And that's why it's the number one uh, best plugin for me. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my, um, my top 10 VSTs and plugins. I do have some honorable mentions, so let's get into those real quick. Uh, so the first honorable mention is halftime, of course. It basically puts your melodies in slow motion or in halftime. That makes sense. Uh, got these settings right here. It basically does the same stuff as the halftime in uh, in Gross Beat, but um, it's way more advanced. You have like the mix knob, you have the band right here. And it's only 10 bucks, man. Like open a lemonade stand for a day and just buy halftime. Like it's definitely worth the 10, bro. Uh, so my second honorable mention is, is Omnisphere, man. And the reason why this is not on the main list is because it's goddamn expensive, man. Like four or 500 for, for one VST is crazy. But the library you get, just look at all these presets, man. Like I believe it's like 12,000 presets in, uh, in Omnisphere itself. If you have Omnisphere and Keyscape, you really don't need anything else, in my opinion. But the reason why it's not on the main list too is uh, there are a lot of alternatives in uh, in 2023 like expand I showed y'all and things like analog lab which is like half the price. But yeah, I get that it's one of the most popular VSTs of course. But I feel like you can make you can make great beats with without Omnisphere in 2023. Uh, so my third honorable mention I have Fruity Delay Three man. It's it's a great if not the best delay in my opinion man. Like you get it for free too with FL so. So yeah, you got the delay time right here, the feedback, all these tweak buttons at the bottom that I've never tried. I mean, I bet they're they're cool and you can use them for some crazy stuff, but really the delay just works well for me. Like if I want a delay, Fruity Delay 3 is just my, my way to go. All right, so for my last honorable mention, I had to bring out Effector, man. I don't know if any of y'all have ever heard of Effector, but it's a stock VST2 uh, in FL Studio, so it's basically free. And yeah, it got a lot of cool settings. It's very simple. It don't got too much going on, but you got a flanger, phaser, filter, delay, reverb. All that stuff so yeah definitely go check this out after this video like just play around with this see if if anything works for you and yeah that's pretty much the the last honorable mention for me i bet that's pretty much it for me today man make sure to go grab my drum kit in the in the link in the description first link in the description 808s got some bonus loops some claps some effects highs kicks open hats perks snares it got everything man so i'm gonna give y'all 20 percent off with the code um turkey 20. so yeah let's get it and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video